The Christmas business isn't quite booming in the holy city of Bethlehem, but it has been resurrected after being severely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The community that depends entirely on tourism is now hoping for an upswing in the number of visitors and a better future. Our next report gets you more details. This is Bethlehem, the holy city. According to the Gospel, Christ was born at this exact place more than 2,000 years ago. As religious tourism evolved over the centuries, churches and pilgrimage sites have popped up, with various sects worshipping their Messiah in different ways and forms. Now, Bethlehem residents rely entirely on these tourists for their living. But when airlines cancelled flights to the Holy Land during the pandemic, the city came to a standstill. Dollars, euros, rubles, pesos and yen stopped flowing to communities dependent on religious tourists. Here in this city, there's an expression, this is a city of pilgrims. At the moment, we don't have pilgrims coming and visiting the city and the holy places in Bethlehem. For example, the Church of the Nativity and Shepherd's Fields, or other places. The city became a city of ghosts. On a wintry day in December, tourist groups exploring the city is a common sight. But the number of visitors flying from Asia, Europe, Africa, North and South America have fallen. Vendors say that the numbers are lower than what they were before the pandemic levels. After COVID, it was shuttered for two years. Business changed for the better. We expect that 2023 will be booming and business will be excellent because the whole world and Christian religious tourists especially, they all want to return to the Holy Land and visit us. Is it the Church of the Nativity, the Holy Sepulchre and Al-Aqsa and Antiquity sites? Even as the city has opened its door for tourists, the footfall and businesses are yet to pick up. Jacobin is the third generation owner of a gift shop. His grandfather started this business in 1925. Covered in sawdust from carving oil wood into figurines, manger scenes, coasters, jewelry, kitchenware and religious symbols, these items in Jacobin's shop await buyers. The year before the corona, um, I was doing okay, but because the corona happened, it really set me back like five years at least to where I was. So even though this year was better, I still need a bit more time, a couple of more years to be back to where I was um, before um, the corona because I had 10 workers, now you've got five, sometimes it's three, depending on the orders. While pandemic has put the people of Bethlehem City in a difficult spot, vendors say recent political violence across the West Bank has not dented tourist numbers. The political it does affect, but nothing major. And, and anyway, we've had it since well, know, about 60, 70 years. Uh, kind of goes on for a month and then it stops. Tourists come back again, you know? More than 140 Palestinians have been killed in Israeli-Palestinian fighting in the West Bank and East Jerusalem this year, making 2022 the deadliest year since 2006. But with business picking up, many hope the future will be brighter. Bureau report, we on, world is one.